welcome to In Your Face, where today we will be debating over certain topics. First, talking about NBA free agency and cards and uh, Zach's thoughts on Carmelo Anthony. What will he do in just about a half an hour? What do you guys think? Well, the decision is coming up very shortly. And uh, well, from yesterday, I certainly thought that Carmelo was uh, going to the Knicks for sure. Like he wanted the more money, but. If he really wants to win, I think he's definitely coming down to Chicago. He's a talented player. He'll work well with Noah and Rose and them, and they'll play a great offense and great defense. Coach Tom Thibodeau knows what he's doing with that team, and they can possibly, if Carmelo comes, compete for an NBA championship. Uh, I think also that the Bulls are a great fit, but if you were to have to choose anyone outside, I think maybe the Rockets because the Rockets are starting to be a little bit on the rise. They kind of got <clears throat> the series stolen away from them. From the Trail Blazers, I like what Howard's doing. I, even though Lynn's kind of gone down, uh, we all know what happened to Parsons. I think the Rockets can also be competitive. O, uh, OKC has Durant that shoots threes, also Curry, and I think Carmelo can fit well in the West. But if you looked at the Bulls, McDermott, Rose, and Noah would make a great fit. Okay, cool. Uh, moving on to LeBron now. It's all going to come down to two teams, guys. The Miami Heat or the, or the Cleveland Cavaliers. What do you guys think? What does he do? Well, honestly, I think he's going back to Cleveland. For the other days, I thought for sure it was going to be Miami. I wouldn't see why he would want to leave. But from what I've seen lately from that Cleveland team, they've been moving space around, like the trades from Jared Jack and Tyler Zeller. They've, got, they've opened cap room. They've added some new faces, re-signed Kyrie Irving. They're looking like a good fit for LeBron. I think LeBron wants to come back home. Um, I think that Cleveland's probably the best choice because there's really nothing that uh, kind of catches LeBron's attention to come back to Miami with uh, Bosch and Wade uh, out. And also, really, there's nothing there. But if you look at Irving and uh, Wiggins, I think, uh, yes, Cle it's Cleveland. They're not the flashy number one seed playoff team, but uh, the rebuilding process can be quick if LeBron goes there. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see how the city responds to that if he comes back. Now moving on to the NFL, who do you guys think is going to be the worst team in the league this year and why? Well, uh, worst team in the league, I'd probably say, um, I don't know, I'm going to go with uh, the Texans once again. They're not looking good. They just lost their quarterback. And I think they're just going to have a bad season. Jadavian Clowney and J.J. Watt, that's a good defensive line, but they're not going to be a good team. And I think that they're just going to stay at the bottom. Uh, I think that the team that, two teams that really uh, surround this topic are the Raiders and uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, uh, I've watched the Raiders go on through the season. Terrell Pryor and uh, Carson Palmer really haven't stepped up to make this team competitive. and. I thought Jacksonville was going to also step up when they had uh, Denard Robinson, a speed back or a, a quarterback if they wanted him, and he just haven't put him in very much that, that could really help this team, and I think there's something going wrong in those two uh, programs. Okay, uh, one last other thing. Who do you think is going to be the biggest surprise team in the NFL? And why? My thought is... is I believe it's actually going to be um, the Arizona Cardinals. Zach, we'll start with you. Arizona Cardinals. I also, I also have to agree with that. Carson Palmer has really adjusted to that team and has played felt like an old Carson Palmer. That's a really interesting prediction. They've got a great defense with Patrick Peterson catching all those balls, taking them back. Mm -hmm. And they got Larry Fitzgerald, who's a powerhouse wide receiver. And I think that they can be the biggest surprise in the NFL also. I think a team that's going <coughs> to... I think a team that's going to surprise us all is probably going to be Cincinnati. I, I've really liked <coughs> Cincinnati's defense, how they've really started to progress. And uh, I like Dalton and McCarron. I think they have the best shot of being surprised. Okay. Hey, thank you very much for tuning in to In Your Face today. For my partner, Zach Johnson and Carson Beck, I'm Zane Bando, and we'll see you later.